It is our great pleasure to introduce to you now Her Excellency, the Canadian Ambassador to Poland, Ms. Alexandra Bugaliskis, to bring greetings from the Government of Canada. That's a pretty hard act to follow. Um, je suis vraiment honorée d'être ici. C'est un moment vraiment. <laughs> très émouvant. Um, to the survivors, to the survivors, to the, uh, to the righteous, to their families, thank you for inviting me and letting me share this very special moment. Prime Minister Stephen Harper once said about the Holocaust, it was a genocide so premeditated and grotesque in design, so monstrous and barbaric in scale, and so systematic and efficient in execution that it stands alone in the annals of human evil. And that is why the Canadian government under Stephen Harper has been very active in, in supporting organizations that want to ensure that this tragedy is remembered for all time. We, uh, the Canadian government supports organizations like the Auschwitz-Birkenauer Foundation, or as well, the International Task Force for Holocaust Education, Remembrance and Research. In fact, Dr. Mario Silva will be here with us on April 19th when we commemorate, of course, the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. But what really counts is people like you, all of you here tonight, you're the ones that make the difference. Je suis tellement impressionnée par le nombre de jeunes ici ce soir. Jeunes Canadiennes qui, qui au lieu de regarder le hockey ce soir. Young people who instead of being home watching hockey, and I was told by Eli not to mention this, whether they're watching Les Ab or the Maple Leafs or the Senators. <laughs> instead, instead you're with us here tonight to learn, to give honor, and most importantly, to remember and to give voice. There's many survivalists here tonight and I've, I've managed to have a conversation with some of them, but one that I read about back in Canada was Sally Rosen. Sally like some of you here tonight, was also very fortunate. Whether it was courage or luck or strength, she managed to survive. And she's survived and taken that story to the schools that you come from, to be able to ensure that people remember. Because she said, someday survivors like me will no longer be alive to tell our stories. And it's going to be today's children to keep telling them for us. But what I was really struck by was when she said, these were things that I was helpless to stop but it is easy on my soul talking to the kids because somebody is listening and maybe those that do listen will know how to avoid these things. These things I couldn't control. And that's what this evening is all about, that you will go out with that memory and more important, that mission to make sure never again. Thank you. 